What was Kurt Cobain like as a person, aside from the music, just as a friend? What was Kurt Cobain like? He was like any friend of yours. He was just like somebody you would know, just like a regular person. And life goes on, and sometimes our friends get into bad scenes. And sometimes it doesn't work out well. And all the way through, he just seemed like a regular person trying to make the best out of what was going on there. And admittedly, yes, he had grand hopes of being a rock star, but he was just a real straightforward, just real from the heart dude. You know, Kurt Cobain was just as real as anyone. And in, in a, and in not in like, oh, he's the most amazing guy and he loves everybody and he's got his compassion. It was like, no, he just was a very, very cool person. But back then there were lots of those people, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Was there ever anything that you wish you could have told him? This sounds like a funny answer, but have you ever seen the Dylan movie, Don't Look Back? I haven't, no, but I have heard of it. Bob Dylan is so good at dealing with the media and just flipping the mirror around. And, and just if I had any retrospective things I wish I would have done, I wish I would have occurred, get that movie. Watch that movie over and over and over again, you know? Because you're in the same thing, you know, now every mic in the world is on you. Now everyone is expecting all these things of you. And uh, and it's not fair and it's all wrong. And, uh, you know, I, I wish you could have had fun with it. And instead, I, I, I know it's, you know, it's a, a bad part of his life. You know? Yeah. And does it ever bother you, you know, the associate, like the, the constant association with that band? Is it something like, is there anything negative about that for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the negative totally outweighs the positive. <laughs> really? Eh? Yeah, and it would take me a long time to to to, to really enumerate how, but it'd be you know the kind of people that come to me and the kind of people that I work with, and and I'm really happy with how ninety nine percent of it goes. But there are you know there, there are ways that the Nirvana thing is fuck shit up. You know, I think to a certain extent it you know. I probably wouldn't have had a '90s career as a record producer if it wasn't for Nirvana and Soundgarden and Screaming Trees. I, you know, that would saw, you know, well, mainstream media is busy sucking in the bands. Are also like saying, "Oh, what producer did this? What producer did that?" and all of that. So, um, if the underground hadn't been so profitable, I probably wouldn't have had my little major label run with what was left of the music business in the '90s and all of that. So, um, and even that wasn't necessarily even 50% good. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things about that that sucked, but you know, you know, that, that, that's on me. That's on Nirvana's fault. I'm really happy with my life. I very, you know, it, 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 things worked out really, really well, but the Nirvana thing, uh, It's very complicated. I'm sorry. And that's all. It's very complicated. It's hard. It, it, and it is really hard to, to even shorthand it. But it, it isn't as grim as I'm making it look in this particular moment. Sorry. No worries at all, man. So I guess then on the other side of things, what's the positive from your association with Nirvana? Well, I, it, you know, what bell do you have to ring to impress your father? <laughs> you know, dad, I did this. Dad, I did this. Dad, I did that. You know, I think. My dad, who passed away in 2015, uh, I think he was very happy to have, you know, go to the Tower Records and people go like, Gordon Fisk, wow, do you know Steve Fisk? And he, well, as a matter of fact. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, my, my dad was proud of me. And that's, that's a very great thing. And I, I don't take that for granted. And Nirvana, you know, not so much some of these other wonderful bands, but Nirvana, you know, the, the, you know, the, that was the, that was the only scene, you know? So the same people that love Nirvana love Beat Happening and all the other stuff that went through there. So I, I got to record really wonderful bands that appreciated that aspect of, uh, of my connections and the music I'd done. And, uh, and, the mo- and before the Nirvana story was out, there, you know, I think the music I did with them stands up pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's because of them and the songwriting and what they've done. So uh, when the story was done, I was happy to be the guy that did that work, you know. And, uh, and yeah, 
it's it's funny to have have the reissues happen all of that you know uh that's been very very cool you know and and i've made some money very very you know but just hardcore thing yeah and every, nirvana made sure everyone got paid when the with the lights out record came out the producers and engineers that worked on that made money